Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is looking at geomorphology, geology, and looking at the Dorset coastline, a world heritage site in the UK, and looking at a certain set of coastline rocks. This is the Earth Science Classroom. These rock formations are part of the easternmost section of the Jurassic Coast in Dorset, England, and they're called Old Harry's Rocks. And they're an amazing set of rock formations jutting out into the English Channel, and the geology is quite fascinating. Firstly, Old Harry's Rocks is the name given to this collection of rock formations along the coastline, forming the easternmost point of the Jurassic Coast here in Dorset. And these rocks are striking for many reasons, not only the shape and the formation and the orientation, but also for the geology, for the color, the striking pale white chalk rocks that form the basis of these sea cliffs. Now, you do have a sequence and series of stacks and stomps. You've got some sea caves and some sea arches that form off the headland to the left. Now these series of rocks to the right and these stacks and stomps form Old Harry's Rocks. And the name derives from multiple myths and legends. One of them is that Old Harry was a famous pirate in the area. So as a geologist or even looking at geomorphology or the coastal processes, you see in the wave action and erosion that is continuously working on this chalk limestone geology and rock face. And you'll see the clear horizontal bedding planes and joints and joint systems that form from the continuous action of weather and erosion in this part of the world, from the wind to the wave action. And then you have the paleogeomorphology of this set or series of Harry's rocks formed the continuous coastline that connected the English coastline to the Isle of Wight. And the part of the Isle of Wight that connected was called Needles, or is called Needles. And this continuous stretch of headland has been continuously broken down through weather and erosion over geologic time to form a strait or a body of water between the English coastline and the Isle of Wight within the English Channel. And what's left is Old Harry's Rocks, which is the series of stomps and stacks you see with the arches and sea caves. Now, the sea caves over time will continue to break down and get larger and larger and larger to form a sea arch and that will collapse under the weight of the top of the arch to form its own separate and isolated stack and the stack will then slowly start to break down through an erosion at the bottom or the base of the stack and it will collapse and form a stomp and eventually the stomp will be eroded and weathered away till it goes under the ocean. A bit like a volcano into what's a called a seamount and atoll. Same process. So these images, these pictures and videos were taken on a boat trip around the Jurassic coast, around the peninsula called Studland. And this is where Old Harry's Rocks are located at the easternmost point. And you take a boat around from Poole, the little coastal town, around to a smaller coastal town or village called Swanage and this takes you right around the sea cliffs and right around Old Harry's Rocks. Quite amazing and lucky to have a beautiful day for the boat ride. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.